Hey there, everybody. It's Jessica here from Jessica Smith TV, and welcome to today's workout. This is a hit walk designed for beginners. So I'm so excited, walk with me while we're talking. I'm so excited to be teaming up with my fitness pal to present our Hit for Beginners workout series. So I'm gonna include a link below if you haven't seen it yet, an overview of the plan and how it works and our suggested weekly rotation schedule for the next four weeks. But the great news is if you're just starting out, this is a wonderful way to introduce you to HIT, also known as high intensity interval training. So let's just keep warming up here while we talk and set up this workout. Just make sure you're standing tall. Let those arms start to swing and pump back and forth. Just making sure that your abs are turned on and strong to support your spine. Think about just drawing your belly button in towards your spine, but make sure you can still breathe comfortably. We don't wanna just suck it in and hold it. We're gonna need that oxygen, especially during our interval training during this routine. Good, so let's just start loosening up through that upper body a little bit more. Let's take a nice deep breath in. Let your arms come down by your sides. Inhale your shoulders up to your ears, squeeze them up. Exhale, just let everything go. Two more times, inhale, squeeze, and exhale. One last time, deep breath, inhale, exhale, release it, good. So walking intervals are just such a wonderful way to ease you into this type of interval training. Now high intensity is relative to your fitness level, so I'm gonna give you some cues as we go through to figure out where you need to be with your personal effort level. It's gonna be different for everybody, so you just kind of find your way to hit that intensity level, and then we'll recover in between. So let's just mix up our movement a little bit here so that we keep warming up the body, but we also don't wear out your joints too much. Give me a side-to-side -side step tap. So just kind of taking your walk now, side to side, little lateral movement, working the muscles in a different way. So anytime we're doing walking indoors, we really wanna change up our movements a little bit more than if you were to do this, say, outside on a track where you're just walking steadily forward. We wanna keep mixing it up so that we don't just keep pounding on your joints in one spot by walking in place the entire time. So even though it's called a walk, you're gonna see some different types of movements in here today. So from this side to side position, I want you to start to stretch dynamically through the front of your thighs and hip flexors while also turning on your hamstrings. So just go ahead and bring your hands to your hips. Give me a hamstring curl. Pull those heels in, good. That's it. So we're actually coming up towards the end of our warm up here. And we're gonna start moving into a little bit more work. You're gonna hear my timer beeping a little bit in the background. That's just to help me stay on track with you. Our interval ratio today is three to one. So we're gonna be doing three minutes of more steady state intensity. And then we're gonna to try to pump it up for 60 seconds. You can make that shorter if you need to. I'll let you know how that works when we get to it. Give me four more. Three, really squeeze your heel in. Two and one. Let's come back to our walk. Standing tall, good, nice. Okay, so as we're wrapping up the warm up here, let's just do one more exercise. Make sure our shins and calves are ready. Give me a heel dig to the front like this. Flex the toes, pulling them back as close to your shins as you can here. Dig down, good. So waking up the front of those lower legs, making sure your ankles and feet are ready for the walk and work to come. Good, now from here, just hold it. Take it back to your walk. Steady your feet for a second. We're just gonna do a little calf raise, testing your balance. Press up for a second, lower down. Do it again, pressing up over your big toes, lower down. So watch your ankles, try not to roll out. Think of aiming over your big toes. Give me two more here, abs in tight. One last time, make yourself taller. Release it, come back to your walk. Beautiful, okay. So we're gonna get into our steady state intensity 
before we pump up to that first interval. So I want you to walk strong, picking up the beat a little faster, pumping those arms. Good, so you hear that music change. We're moving a little quicker now. Let's just walk it forward, walk it back. Now if you've got more room at home than I do, feel free to make this even bigger. Walking forward, walking back, good. Nice, strong and steady. So what I love about walking workouts is we already know how to walk, right? There's not a lot to figure out, not a lot of complicated steps to follow. It's just such a great way for you to get into the groove, for you to find your intensity level and make it work for you. Let's do one more set, forward and back. Taking it back one more time. Good, so right now I want you working at about a five on a one to 10 scale. 10 being so hard you think you're gonna die effort that you couldn't sustain for more than a few seconds at a time. One being you're sitting at, on, at home on the couch watching TV. So a steady five, feeling good, feeling strong. Take it back to that side to side step for me, right here, take it wide. Now let's get a little bit lower into this. So I want you to sit back into your hips. A little bit faster change of direction. Using those inner and outer thighs a little bit more. Just let your arms do whatever feels natural to you. Good, nice and wide. Side to side. Step tap, you got it. So again, this part feels comfortable. When we get to that interval push, I want you to get a little uncomfortable for me. The goal will be to change your breath, to get you to the point where you're breathing much heavier than we are right now. So I'll show you some different ways to get there, but remember to listen to your body and make it work. Let's walk it out. So here's our interval. Pump your arms, pick up your feet. Now, you can hang right here, working on lifting those knees, or if it's appropriate for you, little jog in place. Either one is gonna work, because now we're gonna use those arms to help pump up the heart rate. I'm gonna come back down here. You can keep jogging if you want. Here comes the arms. I want you to give me a jumping jack style motion with your arms. This is probably gonna feel a little bit like you're patting your head and rubbing your stomach. So just do your best. A little coordination between that upper and lower half. If you're jogging, you may not need to add the arms to pick up that intensity. So listen to your body, make it work. Here's your jogging option right here if you wanted it. Good, so remember it's only 60 seconds here. Pump it up, pushing up to about a seven or eight. Good, taking it back down, breathe. Okay, so that was our first interval, that's what it's like. Now you have a little better idea of what's coming. Recover, back to your five effort, please. Let's take it back to that side to side and just see maybe if you could make that move a little bit forward, a little bit back. So our focus during this steady state piece of the interval is to get you to catch your breath. So if you find that you need longer than those three minutes, to get back to where you're breathing more normally, more comfortably, that's fine. You can always skip an interval at any time, okay? So you listen to your body, you make it work for you. One more time, traveling forward, travel it back. Nice job, good. So let's stay with this side to side. I want you to see if you can just start to tap one foot slightly back behind the other. So. This is gonna give you a little preview of what we're gonna do for our next interval. So we're gonna call this movement a skater. So we're gonna push off through the legs. We're gonna get as low as we can. We're gonna go as wide and as fast as we can during the interval, not yet, but I just want you to get this motion down first in your body so you know it. Take it back to your walk for me. Good, so standing tall, staying at that five effort. Beautiful. Abs in tight, posture tall. Let's do a little lift of the knee right here. Just lift, a little bit of a march, drawing it up. But again, we're staying comfortable. Good, you feeling good? 
Good, so this is where we want to feel good. Take it forward. We want to feel good during the intervals too, but we're going to work for it a little bit harder there. Take it forward. Take it back. One more time, forward and back. Last time back. Great job, walk it out and hold it. You look so good. Let's go back. Side steps, just your basic. So all we're waiting for now is for that timer to tell us it's time to take off into those skaters. So remember, you're gonna cross back, you're gonna use your arms, you're gonna make it as big and as wide as you can. Good. So from here, let's take two steps, side and back. Same movement, we just doubled it up. Good, you got it? Nice. Side to side. Oh, here's our timer. So let's go right into your skater taps. You can use your arms. If you feel good about it, you could add a little leap in there. Just make it work for you. Remember, we want to get the heart rate up. We want the breath to change. Aiming for about a seven or an eight on that one to 10 scale. So since we're all working at different levels, we're all gonna need to do a little different version of this move to get to that point of intensity, okay? Make it work. Yes, good. Come on, really push off. Tap it, leap it, swing those arms. Breathe. Yes. Good. Come on, remember it's only 60 seconds, but if you need to stop before then, take a breather anytime. You got it. Nice. Stay with me. You can do this. Stay by the bell. Take it back to your walk. Deep breaths. Just start that recovery process again. Good. So while we're breathing, let's go back to those shins. That nice, easy heel dig to the front. Flex your toes. Pull it back. Good work. All right, so we're almost there. We've done two. We have two more to go. Doing great. Pull those arms back. Nice and strong. Beautiful, four more counts. It's four, three, two. Last set. Walk it strong, hold it here. Take your feet out wide. Let's go back to those hamstring curls to switch up the muscle use right here. Hips forward. You could add some pull arms if you want, or just keep them down by your side. It's totally up to you. So remember, we wanna get back to that place where we're feeling good again. Breathing is back to that steady pace. Yeah, good. That's it. Very nice. Pull those arms down. Okay, so we're gonna move on to another little preview of what's gonna come up for our next interval. So I want you to go ahead and come back to your walk. Good, so we're gonna take the feet out wide and walk. We're gonna do an alternating knee with some arm work. So just start with the knee. You're gonna lift it up as high as you can. Now you can hang here or do a nice little rainbow arc with your arms into the leg. So that's where the interval is going to take us. Bring it back down for now because we want to stay comfortable. Take it back to that side step. Just breathe. So I just want you to know what's coming because that timer starts us right off the bat, doesn't it? So that's where we're going to go. Just keep breathing. Just keep hanging out here. Take it back to your walk. Nice and strong. Good. So just moving it. Forward again, travel a little bit, walk it back. Just check in with that posture, make sure you're not slouching or leaning forward. Take it back. Beautiful, two more. Forward and back. One more time, you got it. Forward, take it back. Nice work. Keep going nice and strong here. 
Just breathe. Gorgeous, walk your feet out wide. Let's go into that knee. Interval time, use your arms. Make it as big as you can now. If you wanted a little bit more intensity, you could add a little bit of a hop in there. You don't have to, but just in case you can't find that seven or eight effort, that might help you get there. But if you can make your arms really big, and really lift that knee up nice and quick, you may not need that hop, right? So just find your own intensity level. Seven or eight is what we're going for. We want the breathing to pick up. Good. Come on, you got this. Stay with me for as long as you can for this 60 second push. Stop sooner if you have to, but try to hold on as long as you can. Good. Ah, pull. Ah, already done, let's walk. Nice guys, so here's the great news. We're on our final round. Then we're just gonna cool down. Easy peasy. So keep walking, keep breathing. Ah, let's just turn to the side, just to switch up our orientation a little. I want you to just walk backwards. Now walk forwards. Again, if you have more room, make this even bigger. Walk forward. Good, so we're just leading with the back of the body for a little change up. Forward, nice tall posture, you look so good. Back, taking it forward. One last time, back. Take it forward, aha. Let's just walk and hold it right here. So again, a little preview for you for our last push. So what I want you to do from here, just an alternating tap out with your foot. Easy? Okay, so here's where we're gonna pump up the heart rate. We're gonna use those jumping jack arms again and try to coordinate it with that toe tap. Yeah, I know this one looks a little easier than it can sometimes be, especially if you're learning it. Take it back to your walk. We're not powering there yet, but that's what's coming. So walk it strong, stand it tall. You're doing so great. So here's where we set up the mental part of this, right? It's your last big push. So I want you to give me everything you can. It's our last big 60 second uphill climb. And then we get to slide down the mountain with a little cool down, which is gonna feel great. We're gonna earn it first though, right? So make it work for you. High knee marches, just to switch it up. Travel forward, travel back. Little movement, forward and back. Forward and back, you got it. Forward and back, last time. Forward and back, let's walk it strong. Feeling good. You guys look so great. Side to side, step tap. Take a side to side, right here. Again, just mixing it up, giving the joints a little breather. We're getting ready. We're in it to win it. Last interval, right around the corner. You got this. Keep moving, keep breathing. Yes, nice. Four more. Three, two, last set. Walk it tall and strong. Good. So great, guys. Keep it going. Here we go, toe taps. Start here. Add your arms. Make it as big as you can, lots of energy. Now, if this isn't enough for you, you could also do a full jumping jack. So make it work. Remember the effort we're going for, about a seven or an eight on that one to 10 scale. So maybe that means you gotta move faster than me to get there, go for it. If that means you gotta do a full jumping jack, go for it. Find your way to get to that intensity level. Yes, good. Pump it up. If the toe taps are too much, you could also just do these arms walking in place. Find a way to make it work. Come on guys, last push. You are there. 
Let's take it to the finish, nice and strong. Beautiful. Oh, we did it. Walk it, breathe it. Intervals, check, done and done. So now, we are just going to recover and breath, breathe. Our timer likes to clap for us at the end. Gives us a few extra beeps. So keep breathing. Good. Nice deep breath. Relax your arms. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Let it go. One more time. Don't you feel great? Inhale. Let it go. Easy side to side. So you can make this a lot smaller now. We're just starting to really focus on lowering the heart rate, maybe even lower than that five intensity. But it might take us a little while to get there as we recover. So the great thing about this type of interval training is it's a wonderful way to improve your fitness level. And starting with something basic that you know you can do, it's a great way to get started with it. But as you continue to do it, you're gonna keep getting stronger and more fit, which means your recovery time is gonna shrink. You may need less time to catch your breath as you get more fit. You also may find that you need to add more intensity during the intervals with your movements to find your way up to that effort level. So those are all good things. Those are all signs that you're getting more fit. So as we go through this series together, I'll be showing you some different options, some different ways you can play with this type of HIIT training to help you continue to raise the bar as you continue to improve your fitness level. Let's take it back. Nice, easy walk. Breathe. Good, let's take a deep breath in and just stretch your arms all the way up to the ceiling. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. Nice job, one more time. Nice deep breath, stretch, lift. Try to reach the ceiling. Let it go. Take your feet out wide. Just give me a little gentle toe tap. So kind of pointing through your toes, working through the ankles a bit. Good. We're just gonna end with some gentle stretches to wind things up. Hopefully now your breathing is back to a more normal level for you. If you still find you're a little bit out of breath, you might wanna keep walking in place for a little bit longer. Go ahead and bend both knees. Let's place both hands on top of the thighs. Just take a nice deep breath in. Turn to the side so you can see a little better. Inhale, round your spine. Exhale, arch your back. Do it again, stretch your back. Inhale, round everything in. Exhale, arch your release. Good. From here, take both hands over to one side. Just extend this leg. Give me a little stretch for your inner thighs. Those inner thighs work pretty hard for us on all that side to side motion, so we wanna give them a little stretch. Take it to the other leg, switch sides, sit back in your hips. Beautiful, come back to the center, bending both knees, both hands on your thighs, support your spine, just roll up for me. Just turn your hips to the side, picking up your heels so that we can press the back heel into the floor, pressing the pelvis forward. Getting a little stretch through that back hip flexor, down through the Achilles and the calf. Maybe you can bend that back knee slightly, stretch a little deeper. Good, let's come to the center. Other side, so just pick up your feet to turn your toes. Hello, Peanut. I love how she just waltzes in when the workout's over. <laughs> Press the hips forward. The intervals are done, it's safe to be here. Bend your back knee a little bit more if you want. If you're new to our channel, this is Peanut. She's our mascot. We work out at home just like many of you that have kids and pets around. Kind of gives us just a, a reality check, right? It's not always perfect like you see in some exercise videos. We're making it work. Take the hands forward, round your upper back, drop your chin to your chest. Good. And release, stretch over to the side. Good. And to the other side, just open it out. And last one here to finish, let's just open across the chest, interlacing your fingers behind you if you can, but just lift those hands, open across your chest, take a deep breath, and she's already out of here. <laughs> nice deep breath to finish, release your arms, inhale it up, and release it. Give yourself a big round of applause. 
thank you guys so much for joining me for this hit walk session today. Remember, if you're interested in joining us for our Hit for Beginners series, you can learn more about the plan and get the full four week schedule in the link below in the video description. Until then, keep up the great work that you're doing, taking care of your body and your health, and I hope to see you for another session soon. Take care, everybody.